All right, today we're going to talk about how we can find out and how much we can find out and what it takes to get there. So first we have to decide how much do we want to find out. So let's say in this case, I want to find out at a level of seven. Okay, so I find that level on my graph and I come horizontally to my gradient line. Where it intersects with my gradient line, I'm going to come straight down to where it intersects with my fuck around line. That there is going to tell me how much I have to fuck around to find out what I need to find out. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. So I hope this lesson is helpful. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I had to play that clip in the beginning because it's just so appropriate for this video we're about to watch. This dude messed around. And he found out. Now, a 17-year-old kid walking out of a convenience store bumps into a police officer trying to shoulder check him. I don't know, trying to act tough, trying to be tough for whatever reason. You're about to see why he regretted that very shortly. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Now, let's roll it. What's up, What's wrong with you, man? Look how quick that tough mentality got him put in his place. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. This is only the beginning of the video. But you walking out of the store, I mean, bro, all you got to do is just, you know what I'm saying, move out the way a little bit. Me, I'm a very I'm a very polite person. I try to, um, you know, always look out for other people because I know sometimes people could be, uh, you know, just lack awareness. Sometimes people not paying attention to where they're going. So I get out of people's way so that way. They not in my way, if that makes sense. I get out of people's way so that it ain't no problem, so that I don't end up having to throw hands or nothing like that. And just to make things worse, this ain't a normal civilian. This is a police officer. You make life difficult for them, and they can make it real difficult for you. What are you shoving me like that for, man? Nah, man, I'm just trying to walk. Wait, you wanna see me walking in the store, bro? My bad. How you just gonna walk into me like that, bro? Turn around, bro. Turn around, man. You have anything on you? Turn around. No. And these two black people, this, this, it looked like a black officer, so, you know, ain't, ain't no white supremacy narrative that could be thrown around. You know, it, it's probably somebody out there that'll find a way to, to you know, um, make that false equivalency, but it's two black people here. You have five, 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 five. Going, man, you just shoved me, man. Watch your my mouth, bad. man. No, it's not a my bad. You saw me coming in the store, man. What you doing? Stop playing, man. What you got on you? Don't move. I got a gun on my bed. Six nine recovery. Don't move. <clears throat> Found a mag. Then he found a Glock. The firearm was altered with the switch, which changed the firearm from semi-automatic to a fully automatic weapon. Yeah, that's this is the this is the switch right here on the rear. It's on the back of the gun. And just like the description right here says, it turned a semi-automatic pistol, pow, 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 into a automatic fire, rapid fire weapon. And it, I don't know, it looked like he might have had an extended clip in there too, but yeah, man, this is some this is some dangerous firepower. If you pay attention or listen to rap music at all, you'd have heard about these guns, you know, years ago. They've been, um, you know, they, they hot. They hot right now in the streets. I'm not a big fan of Glocks because Glocks don't have safeties. Um, and, you know, that's just a little bit, it's a little bit worrisome because, you know, anything can happen. But, you know, this is me, a legal gun owner talking. And, you know, this, this kid, 17 years old, he walk around with an illegal thing on him. So, you know, two different worlds there. How old are you, man? How much? Seventeen. Who gun is that? You're done, boy. Yeah, I really hope this wasn't one of those holding it for a friend situations because 
If it was, look at how much trouble you just got yourself into, man. Me being somebody that wants to see the best come out of people, regardless of whatever situation they're in, he's only 17 years old. I hope he can learn something from this. I doubt he's going to be in jail or, you know, you know, anything like that for a very long time. But yeah, some people go into the jail system and they just end up being recycled in and out, in and out, in and out. But some people actually do learn from this and you could you could tell clearly he got some sort of chip on his shoulder. He walk around bumping into people, you know, bumping into police officers. I mean, you know, it's it's accountability that got to be taken here. I know he only 17 years old, but he brought this on himself. And knowing that you have a firearm on you, an illegal firearm on you at that, a Glock with a switch on it. Come on, man. You got to be smarter than that. Like this, this is just, this is, this was all stupid. This was just stupid. Don't make no sense why you would do something like this. You already walking around hot and then you bring in more heat onto yourself. If this kid goes away and does some time, I mean, I just hope that it actually does some good for him being away from whatever, you know, influences outside in the streets and that he hanging around. They got him doing things like this. I mean, obviously, I know it's not good influences in jail either, but sometimes that could scare you straight. This kid walking around with his pants down to his knees, got an illegal gun on him, bumping into cops. You know, he is he's a walking stereotype. And I understand how powerful of an influence the environment around you can have, especially at 17 years old. But, you know, somebody got to tell you that you can rise above your surroundings and be better and be different and not just be a stereotype. So yeah, long story short, he messed around. He found out this whole situation could have been avoided, but young man, you brought this on yourself. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe when you're at the door. And until next time, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.